Hello and welcome to Round Glass. I'm Leah Cullis and I'm your guide for our session today. In our class today, we're going to be working on fortifying our foundation or finding your footing. In every yoga pose, our foundation is what's touching the earth and most of the time it's our feet. Sometimes our hands, sometimes our seats, but in every pose the principles are the same. We're not just standing on our mats or standing on our earth, the earth. We are claiming our space and we are using the earth to gather energy, bring it up into our poses so that we can feel both strong and stable, but also more flexible and free. All of those energies, all of those intentions start with what's touching the earth, our feet. So today we'll be weaving it through some poses and we'll be progressing into balancing poses. But remember, whenever you start to feel yourself getting a little wobbly or unstable, it's time to come back to your foundation, find your footing, and then freedom will start to arise in your unique pose. So let's get started. We start all of our classes in just a simple seat, a short meditation to get grounded, allow all the stimulation from life to start to settle down as we turn our attention inward. So I'm sitting on a yoga block today. I always recommend that you have some props near you to lift the earth up to you. If you don't have yoga blocks, feel free to grab a cushion or a blanket, lift your seat a little higher than your knees so you allow your blood to flow through your lower half of your body. Then come take your seats, ground your palms to your thighs, Close your eyes and turn your attention to your natural breath through your nose. And just watch your breath and watch your body respond to you turning your attention inward. Foundation simply means being grounded in your body, grounded in your pose, grounded in your energy. So this short sit is the first step to being grounded in you today. Now unite your hands at heart center in Anjali Mudra. This hand position represents our two sides, two halves coming together, uniting for more purpose. With that, bring to mind your intention, your, your reason, your purpose for your practice today. Connect the body, the mind, and the higher intention. Take a deep breath in, fill up all the way across your heart, feel your thumbs lift. Open mouth, exhale. Bow your head to your heart, surrender your busy mind to the wisdom within your whole body. Release your hands to your thighs, open your eyes and lift your gaze. Okay, yogis, let's get started in child's pose, child's pose. So go ahead and move any props that you have off to the sides of your mat. We'll use them soon. And if you have blocks, bring them to the upper edges of your mat. We'll use them in our opening sequence. To set up for child's pose, balasana, separate your knees as wide as your sticky mat. You can go a little wider even. You wanna make enough space for your ribs to fit in between your thighs. Then sit your tail back on your heels, bow your head and your torso forward. Bring a soft bend in your elbows so that you can relax and feel the support of the earth beneath you. Then lay your head down, close your eyes once again, and start to generate your ujjayi breath. Ujjayi is a pranayama technique where we breathe in and out of the nose. You want to expand both sides of your breath to about four to five counts. Now crawl your fingers more forward until you feel a stretch from your hip creases through your fingertips. Reach so far forward that your elbows lift up off the earth 
and then expand your fingers wide. Start to build your foundation with your hands. Really dig down through your knuckles, then rise on up through a tabletop variation. Tuck your toes under, press into your hands, straighten your legs to your degree, and come into downward facing dog. So child's pose or downward facing dog are two, we'll call them home base poses that you can come into at any time if you feel disconnected from your breath or you're working to reestablish your foundation with your intention or physically. Come back to your breath, come back to your body. All right, walk your hands back to your feet. Bend your knees enough so you can reach your feet here. And then take your index finger and your thumb together, so make a little bit of a claw, and press down in the big knuckle of your big toe mount. So not on your toe, just below it in the knuckle. Now that's where the epicenter of the pressure is to find our footing in every pose. And then take your hands, press down the big knuckle of your pinky toes. So those are point one, point two, and then catch both sides of your heel, press down through your heels. These are points three and four. So in every yoga pose, we're pressing down through the four corners of our feet. All right, now slide your palms to your shins. Come into a halfway lift. Lengthen your heart away from your hips. Keep a bend in your knees. Work your belly to your thighs. Forward fold. Grab opposite elbows. If you feel stable and sturdy, you start to sway side to side. If you feel like you need a little wider base to feel stronger in your overall pose, just separate your feet wider than hip distance. Going wide will always help you to feel stronger and more stable. All right, release your hands down to the earth. Crawl your hands forward. Let's meet back in downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, let your head drop and then set your gaze, your drishti between your heels. See both heels press down towards the earth. As you get active through your feet, your leg muscles will light up even more. Now, notice, you can look up here, my heels don't touch the ground, and yours may not either. That's okay, the same principles, the same actions apply. Keep the weight down through your left heel. Inhale, sweep your right leg up, three-legged dog. On your exhale, draw your knee towards your nose, step to your right thumb. Keep rooted through your left hand. I'm going to come onto my fingertips, but you can also use your block. Press down through your right big toe mound. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Dragonfly twist. So the tendency is to fly your knee out to the side, but instead pull your knee in towards your heart, then lean your heart back away from your knee. Another big breath in here. Exhale, right hand down to the ground or your blocks. Scoop your heart forward with your inhale. Exhale, straighten your right leg to your degree. Now pop your left heel up so it's stacking over your big toe mounds. This will square out your hips. Halfway lift all together. Exhale, pour over your right shin. Really press down through your right heel and drag your right hip crease back, back, back even more. All right, yogis, next inhale, come forward through a lunge. Move your blocks if you need to or use them. Plant your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here and move in a way that feels good to you, soothes you. And then settle into some stillness. Bring back the principles through your feet. Ground through your big toe mound, your pinky toe mound, and work both heels towards the ground. You can even bring a soft bend and still press down through your all four corners of your feet. Next inhale, sweep your left leg high. Whole exhale, ride your breath forward through a high plank variation, then step to your left thumb. All right, dip your hips a little lower and then squeeze your inner thighs together. You'll feel your hips go up slightly. Keep this action, this pressing down, lifting up and hugging in, then sweep your left arm high, dragonfly twist. Take another big breath in here. Exhale both hands to the earth. Scoop your heart forward, get longer from your back heel through your heart, then straighten your left leg to your degree. Again, great place to use your blocks. If you just have one, you can bring it out in front of your foot and bow your heart and your head over your left shin. 
We always want to keep a gentle bend in the knees so the blood can flow, the prana, life force can flow. So you never want to lock out your leg. All right, next inhale, come forward through a low lunge, plant your hands, step back, downward facing dog. With your inhale, roll forward into a high plank pose. So the foundation of the pose here are your hands and your feet. Really press the earth away from you, lift the earth's energy into your core, and at the base of your next exhale, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Inhale again, roll forward, high plank. This time, lower your knees to the ground and come all the way down to your mat. Lay down, untuck your toes, slide your palms back underneath your elbows, press down through your hands, through your feet, and through your hip points. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your head. Activate your back body to rise even higher. Exhale, lower down. Take another inhale here. Exhale, shift your hips back to your heels, move through your child's pose. And when you're ready, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. All right, and look forward beyond the top edge of your mat. Bend your knees a lot, access your core strength, and walk your feet up to your hands. At the top of your mat, bend your knees generously, palms to shins, halfway lift, your gaze is down. Exhale, forward fold. Feel your foundation, your firm footing through big toe mound, baby toe mound, both sides of your heels. Press down with your inhale, rise to stand, reach all the way up. And exhale, your hands to heart center. Take a moment to stand strong in your body. Feel the wisdom of your bones supporting you from the earth up to the sky. And remember your intention for your practice today. With every breath, you're bringing that energy in, your purposeful energy into your body and into your experience to amplify it. All together, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. All right, open your eyes, yogis. Bring your palms down by your side, so palms facing forward. This is Tadasana pose, mountain pose, so it's the blueprint of all of our asanas. Try bending your knees slightly here, and now really dig down through all four corners of your feet. Go deep, deep into the earth with your roots. On your next inhale, straighten your legs to your degree, firm your leg muscles, and draw your upper arm bones back. Notice the buoyancy, the power you can lift up from your feet. So on every inhale, we're pressing down. Every exhale, we're lifting the low belly up, locking the earth energy into our core. All right, inhale, circle your arms wide, reach up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, we bow, Uttanasana. Palms to shins, halfway lift. Plant your hands, make a foundation with your hands. Step back, high plank pose. All together, big inhale here, stretch longer. Exhale, drop your knees, lower all the way down to the ground. Inhale, low cobra, lift your heart. Exhale, surrender back to the earth. Shift hips back to your heels, and then into downward facing dog. All right, yogis. Moving on, inhale, look forward. This time, see your pinky fingers and step wide out to your pinky fingers. If you have a block or your pillow handy, set it back behind your heels. We'll come into a halfway lift variation and exhale, sit down into a yogi squat. So this is a malasana variation. We're gonna take it with our heels nice and wide. Your toes are slightly pointed out, heels slightly in, then hands to heart center. You've got three blocks or cushions. Lift the earth up to you, to your degree. Some of you might not need it at all. And you just sink lower down to the earth, but not, not overly sinking. You're also pressing back up. So how we can activate these actions are squeezing the heels towards one another. Notice when you don't squeeze in, let it go, and now squeeze back in. Pull the energy into you. All right, inhale here, 
Exhale, get rooted even more. Inhale, rise up, press through your feet, rise. Exhale, hands back to heart center, sun A variation. Inhale, circle your arms around, nice and wide. Keep your feet wide, exhale, bend your knees, pour forward, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift, modification. Exhale, sit down into your malasana, hands to heart center. Big breath in, lift your heart higher. Plant your hands, step your feet back, move through your vinyasa, or simply meet in downward facing dog. Nice work, yogis. Take a big breath in all together and open mouth exhale. Next inhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, exhale, step or hop feet to your hands. This time, big toes touching, heels can be slightly separated. So we want the knife edges of the feet, especially by the toes, to be parallel. Come into a halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold, chair pose, utkatasana, utkatasana. Now we're all going to create different chair poses, different shapes, they'll look different for each of us. I got a lot of scar tissue in my ankles from time on the soccer fields and basketball courts, so my chair may look different than your chair. Notice how low you can go while still keeping the weight distributed through all four corners of your feet. Then look down, pull your shins back slightly. Notice how weight shifts into your heels. Lift your heart even higher. That's it, exhale, forward fold, nice work. Halfway lift, inhale. Plant your hands, this time just step back, downward facing dog. Big breath in all together. Open mouth, exhale. And inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, step to your right thumb. Lower your left knee down. Keep your back toes tucked under. Inhale, sweep both arms up to the sky. Anjaneyasana. So continue to press down through your right big toe mound. Then draw your hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen your whole spine. So lift from your tail up through your heart. Exhale, twist. Hook your left arm over your right thigh. Unite your hands at heart center. With every inhale, stretch from your tail through your heart. And every exhale, draw your belly back. It's like you're beating a drum with your low belly. Option here, drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Scalene stretch. And then look down to the ground. All right, release your hands down to the earth. Pop your left knee up. Dragonfly twist one more time, right arm up to the sky. Exhale, touch your right hand down. Zip up your low belly, so squeeze your inner thighs together, let your hips be buoyant. Step back, downward facing dog. Pedal out your knees, and notice the difference between your two sides. Left side, inhale, float your leg high. Big step forward. Right knee down, keep your back toes tucked under for a little more support. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Stay with your breath, get into your rhythm. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Just a few breaths here. Twist really help us harness our power into our centers, center line, where all our major energy centers are stored. So keep getting longer with every inhale. Then each exhale, ring out your midsection. Compress your vital organs and bring new energy into you. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. If you get shaky, press down through your left big toe mound more. Look down, both hands to the ground. Pop your right knee up. Inhale, expand open, twist, drag and fly. Next exhale, look down. This time, we're going to step to the top of the mat. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. So two peace fingers, hook them like little hooks, halfway lift. Exhale, pull yourself into a deep bow. Pop your elbows out to opposite sides, then slide your shoulders up away from your ears. Big deep breaths here, yogis. Release your toes, tense your fingers, toe heel your feet together. 
Grab your hips with a flat back. Inhale, rise to stand. Bring your hands to heart center. Pause and notice how you feel now. Keep your eyes closed and shift your weight slightly forward towards your toes while keeping your heels grounded. Now do the opposite, lean back, but keep your big toe mounds grounded. Shift slightly to the right and then to the left. Now come back to center. Release your arms by your sides, open your eyes. Notice that we're all dance between forward, back, side to side. So finding your footing is an ongoing practice. Know that when you start to feel wobbly, the more effort, the more intention you bring to your feet, the more it will be lifted up through your whole pose, your whole exchange. So let's put it into practice. Ground down through your left foot. You can even look down. Press down through all four corners of your feet. Stand up tall, pull your upper arm bones back. Now zip up your core. Using your core strength, float your right knee at hip level. Now bend your left knee slightly. Feel the buoyancy in your shape. You're stable and flexible. Cross your left or your right thigh over your left. You can tap your right toes down to the outside of your left angle for eagle legs. Some of y'all might be able to wrap your foot around your standing leg. It's not possible for me. And if I do, if I do that, my whole pose is impacted. So find your footing, feel yourself as stable, then start to lift the power, the openness up through your heart. Widen your wings, nice and wide. Now wrap your right arm under, left arm over, clasp your palms. Elbows at shoulder level. If this is too much, you can always press your forearms together or simply grab opposite shoulders. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, tap your elbows down to your knees wherever you are. Press down through your left foot. Inhale, rise back up. All right, stand tall, mountain pose. Shake it out a little bit, shake it up. Let's build on the second side. Press down through all four corners of your right foot, hands to your hips. Zip up your low belly, so from the floor to core, lift up. Now hover your left knee at hip level. Activate your toes, so everything's in the game here. Bend your right knee, eagle legs, cross. Use your left toes as a little kickstand. Squeeze your inner thighs together, harness your power. Wings out wide, open across your heart. Left arm under this time. Take your eagle arms, your bind of your arms, your bada. Options are always here for you. Big inhale, sit taller. Exhale, pull your belly back, nest your eagle, tap your elbows down to your knees. We're challenging our balance. Inhale, rise back up. Nice and steady, tadasana, tadasana. Bring your hands to your heart, set your gaze at your fingertips, or close your eyes. Notice what you feel now. Release your arms by your sides, open your eyes. Tadasana, we'll build on here. Hands to your hips, roll your shoulders up and back. Press down through both feet. I like to bend my knees to feel the buoyancy in my feet up through my legs. Then I can integrate on my low belly, up and in, tailbone down. Keep this integration, zip up your low belly, float your right knee up. Standing leg raise, or Tita Hasta Padangustasana. Bring your right hand to your right knee, or if this is too much, you just play with floating your knee up, moving from core strength and stability of your left foot. Some of you might grab your big toe or go through the knife edge of your foot, kick out fully letter A without compromising the integrity of your spine. All right, keep your gaze forward, start with your foundation, Left foot down, widen your right leg out, letter B. If you want to challenge your balance, expand your left arm wide, gaze follows your left thumb. Left hand back to your hip. Squeeze your inner thighs together, pause here. If you can, bring both hands to your hips. Big breath in, exhale, step your right foot all the way back, land both hands to the mat. Swivel all 10 toes to the left side of your mat. 
modified side plank variation. Your foundation is your right hand and your back foot. If you want to challenge your balance, full side plank. Flex all 10 toes, just like you're standing on the earth, but the position has changed. Big opening, your fullest expression. Exhale, hands to the ground, high plank. Big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Step or hop, feet to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up, reach to the sky. Exhale through your heart and then to your hips. Let's get right into it, yogis. Press down through your right foot. Zip up your low belly from floor to core. Lift up. Then elevate your left leg. Right hand to your hip. Grab your left knee. Standing leg raise, letter A. Stay open across your heart, yogis. And open up your shape, letter B, from your standing foot. Open your hip out to the left. You can reach your right arm to the right. Stair step your gaze, find new drishti points. Then land your gaze to your right thumb. Come back to center. Challenge your balance and your core strength so you can kick your foot straight out. Bend your knee again. Big step back to the back of the mat, prepping for side plank. Spin your toes to the right, right arm high, or step into your full side plank. Lift your hips up towards the sky. Flex all 10 toes. One more big inhale. Exhale, vinyasa or meet in downward facing dog. Walk halfway up your mat. Drop down to your knees. Bring one hip to the earth. Sweep your legs out in front of you. Nice work. That was a lot of balancing poses we did today. Okay, let's use all of this heat and all this purpose that we've built up physically, and let's go deeper into our connective tissues. We'll take Janushir Sasana, head to knee pose. Keep your right leg long. Bend your left knee. Press your left foot into your inner right thigh. I like to use blocks for this. If you have them available, maybe try them out. Otherwise, you just bring your fingertips to the mat. Inhale, scoop your heart forward. Flex all 10 toes up towards the sky. Keep the length as long as you can. Work your belly towards your thigh, then reach forward. If you've got blocks, it's nice support for your elbows and your forearms. Keep a flex of your right foot. Drop your head and your heart over your right leg. Every inhale, get longer from the base of your spine through the top of your head. Every exhale, draw your belly back to help fold deeper. The movements are subtle. The breath animates the body from within. So you may not notice anything from the outside, but if your attention is turned inward, you'll feel a shift with each cycle of breath. Change is possible. Yoga teaches us that with each breath, we can shift. Look up beyond your toes, exhale, Tune into your core, inhale, rise. Let's switch sides. Left leg long, right foot to your inner left thigh. Inhale, come into a halfway lift, lengthen and lift up through your heart. Exhale, pour forward and bow to your degree. You can also add on a little twist if you wanna add some challenge, turn your left fingers behind your hip. There are always ways to adapt your pose to meet your own needs. But the key is you've got to listen to what your body is saying. Feel strong and stable, and then the creativity starts to emerge. The flow and freedom that's available within all the postures comes from being rooted, grounded, not fixed, but stable on the earth in union with the earth. Next inhale, look up. Exhale, pull your belly back and rise. Okay, extend your legs long. Go wide with your heels, take up your space. Lay all the way down on your back. Extend your arms by your sides, palms facing up. I will meet you in a seated pose once you are complete with the most important pose, final rest, Shavasana. So yogis, please close your eyes. Let go of any effort in your breath. 
and as best as you can, let go of any effort physically, mentally, or beyond. Let the yoga practice take root within you. Shavasana. If you have the time and the space to savor the shape, please stay and let the earth support you. If you're ready to move on, bring gentle movement back to your fingers and your toes. And extend your arms long overhead, slide your feet together, stretch your whole body long. At the base of your next exhale, pull your knees in towards your chest, gather, and roll to one side. As you turn to one side, notice how you feel now, how you feel after your mindful movement practice. Keeping your eyes closed, lift yourself up to a seat. Let's meet facing one another. And let's unite our hands at heart center. Come back to prayer hands. Press down into your seat, your foundation of this pose. Lift your heart skyward. And then spread your fingers wide, straight out from your heart. When we do the work on the inside, it starts to show up on the outside, from the mat into life. Yogis, let's seal our practice with a final OM. Take a deep breath in. Ooh. Lift your prayer hands up to your third eye. Seal your insights from your heart, your body, into your mind. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your practice today. I hope to see you again very, very soon for another session with us at Round Glass. Join us online or on our app. Thank you, yogis.